dengue uh something people don't even know exists sometimes um my own experience uh i picked up dengue in the immigration office um because i hadn't been very far right up until i had to go and do a uh, tourist renewal a few years back now a week or so early we'd had actually been on a island hopping trip with a load of other expats there was an expat day out um and i wasn't sure if it was something to do with that but it wasn't i mean there was another guy that got ill but i think yeah that was after he jumped off the boat as so it was heading back to Cebu and I had to turn around and pick him up and he drank some of the water but um dengue it's not nice to put it lightly it can kill it does kill um and it attacks your blood um my own experience i ended up with like blotting skin uh, my there's like what white dots in my um well you can still see it it's because it, once it's in there it's in there let's put it that way there is no cure there is no um antidote or something the safest thing is keeping away from mosquitoes there's the little one you'll see these little mosquitoes with these little white stripes on the legs that's the ones that kill um does it kill as much people it used to i don't think they actually do the figures properly um it's hard to tell because marriages births death aren't really logged in the philippines properly because everything costs money so a lot of the time people do the bizarrest things you know because they don't want to pay um but what the dengue did to me um i was ill for about a week and when i say ill i'm talking i couldn't get out of bed to cross the room to open the door <laughs> it literally it sucked the life out of me i was completely drained and the second week still in the same state and i'm thinking this is pretty bad um and we had internet go down and it was only because i went outside uh because it was on an antenna system that my mother-in-law noticed how pale i was um uh, to say as pale as a milk bottle was an understatement it's as if the, like your life had been sucked out of you um at that point the whole family started going a bit wild my mother-in-law started burning uh leaves and stuff outside um trying to burn any mosquitoes away in the area neem leaves are pretty good um because if you burn neem leaves it actually paralyzes mosquitoes if it doesn't kill them i think it actually paralyzes them then they get eaten by other things they can't fly but um yeah i was in a pretty bad way for a while uh, to get it out of my system I'd estimate it took me between three and six months um, where I was actually back to myself. Um, so be, be warned, dengue is pretty bad. And one of the things they do in the Philippines to combat it is mass blood transfusions. Does it work? or I do not know. I'm not a doctor. Does mass blood transfusions give you a higher risk of being killed compared to dengue? don't know but i do know the quantity of blood transfusions they do it does put you in a high risk category um it's all on your palate count research it online something to be aware of um and then the mosquitoes normally the the white-legged ones aren't around all day it's normally in the afternoon that's when you're most likely to get it so be aware of it you're more likely to get dengue than you are malaria um Mingle and Ilya, a few years back when I read the stats, they killed 114 people in a year. Um, what, should I say? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, what happened is the fun disappeared. Um, dengue is caused, these mosquitoes breed because of rubbish in the rivers, the um, old tires left where there's little bits of water where they can breed, just general hygiene type of stuff the budget disappeared um, and the the cost of dealing with the outbreak um, cost a lot more than if they used the budget properly let's just say that where the money went I'm not saying but if you review it you'll see he was in charge of it and 
they can explain it or should I say would never <laughs> but the the point is that cause caused 114 deaths and a lot of it is hygiene and a lot of it is the most frustrating thing in the Philippines is people cause a lot of this stuff themselves they think throwing a litter in the empty lot next door solves the problem they're creating a breeding ground for malaria for dengue for rats whatever typhoid you name it because of dirty hygiene dirty ways of living out of sight out of mind mentality very hard to educate people away from that and um, even if they lose their own children doing it they would may still do it because they wouldn't want to connect the two dots that they'd actually be partly responsible for the death of somebody frustrating annoying but it's something I can't do anything about but if you do get dengue get medical care straight away um, be very very careful always wear sunscreen and uh, not uh, sunscreen mosquito repellent especially during the afternoons once you've been there a while I found after I had dengue I don't even need mosquito repellent the mosquitoes don't seem to find me attractive anymore um, but it's it's something to think about um, research it online because things change all the time it's not for me telling you this and that today because tomorrow somebody's come up with a bright idea that would have been better than the knowledge I just gave you all right thanks for watching yeah.